Smith, did you see that? Yo, Vegas, you ready for this match? That's right, here we are, guys. We are set up for the championship match. Straight ripping, taking on Instinct. Instinct, of course, advancing over Carbon in the loser's bracket finals. Sunday, it's how you feeling? Uh, I'm a little excited, to be honest with you. This is an amazing matchup. I mean, we have, we got some history going on right here. We've got straight ripping, duking it out right now. The number one seed coming in. They want to go home as the Halo 3 champs. And then on the other side, with instinct, we got Walshy. He wins this. He goes down as the winningest player in the history of MLG. He wins this one with another set of twins. You know that means a lot to him right now. All right, well, we said both of the team names, Sundance, but now it's time to see the team lineups. We are going to check out Straight Rippin' first. They are going to be in red for this match. That is led by Team Captain T-Squared, Legit, Elmite Warrior, and, of course, Snipe Down. You know, the keys to success, we don't even need to talk about these. You know what it is. They need to play their game. They need to do what they did to get here. They keep that up. They'll be fine. These guys are four of the best players in the world, and this is what it's all about. This is what all the hard work this season was. And right now, we got somebody on mic down there, one of their players, one of the leaders of that squad. We got Elamite Warrior. Kyle, how you doing, baby? Pretty good. Just pretty good, Kyle. You're in the championship match. Are you pumped up right now? I'm very pumped. We've been waiting for this all season, and uh, now we're about to make it happen. So what are we going to look for here right now? How are you guys feeling against Instinct? Is this who you thought you were going to be facing off against? Um, I wasn't really sure who, because we knew Carbon was a great team, but uh, we're happy Instinct made it. Now, you guys have a lot of history. You've obviously played each other before. What are you looking for out of them? Who do you have to shut down in order for Straight Ripping to have a shot at winning this and being the 2008 champions? I think Lunchbox and Roy are the ones we're going to have to shut down, but it won't be, won't be hard. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, Kyle. Come back to bite him. Last question for you, my friend. We see a, we see a baby face coach behind you. He looks a little like McLovin. What's the story with that? We know there's a little bit of family love going on right there. How's that working out for you guys? Uh, it's working great. He, he knows so much about the game. He's able to watch all of our screens and help us out a lot. All right. Well, congratulations, guys. Straight ripping. Best of luck. We're going to take it over to the other squad and see what's going on with them. Well, that was straight ripping in Red Sundance. Now it's time to check out the blue team. We have Instinct, the fan favorite here. If you ask the Las Vegas crowd, we got Lunchbox, Roy, Team Captain Walshy, the guy who's been doing it all career long, and of course, Soviet. Yeah, and Instinct, I mean, I can't tell, say enough about these guys. They've really clicked and come together this event. Their keys to success, it's a new set of twins for Walshy. It's a very familiar position for him. He's in the championship, but he's got a new set of twins right there. Soviet stepped it up. We got them winning team slayers. So now let's talk to Walshy. He's down there. Dave, we got you mic'd up. How's everything going? How you feeling? Good. Uh, we need this win more than they do. I lost about 20 grand at the casino over the <laughs> week, so... Uh, we need this. Okay, well, Walsh, you still got a sense of humor. I like seeing that. Walsh, what does this mean to you? I mean, you are obviously one of the most storied players in the history of the league. You've been here before, but now you're doing it with a different squad, especially after bouncing back from a tough event last time out. How does it feel to be sitting there with a chance to write yourself into the history books as the winningest player in the history of the league? Uh, it feels great. Um, I think... Uh we got this. We got this for sure. All right. All right, Walsh. Now, last thing I want to ask you is you're looking over at Straight Rip in the number one seed. What's the key for you? Who do you need to shut down on that squad in order to take home a victory? Um, obviously, Snipe Down. He's, uh, he's going to be going off with of Sniper, and we have to get that out of his hands. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Dave. I don't want to hold you up anymore. I want to let you get back to getting ready for this match. I know you're excited. We're all excited. This is what we played here all year for. This is what we waited for. The championship series, straight ripping versus instinct. Let's get this thing started. Who is going down as the first ever national champions in Halo 3? We are about to find out, Sundance. Everyone's on their feet here in Vegas. I need the crowd to make a little noise as we get this one going. We're excited up in the booth. We're up on our feet. Because this is it, the best of 11. These guys have already met straight ribbon with a 3-2 to two advantage. But you know Instinct's going to come out firing. They're going to come out ready to play. Let's get this thing started with our first game, Pucket. Let's take us into it.
That's right. We just saw Instinct pull an amazing win in this game type. They're going to be looking to do it once again, this time against their new opponent, Stray Rippin. And if Instinct can pull this one off, they will tie it up three to three. We're going to kick this one off with the player who just went off in his past couple series. It's sniped out. And you know, he's smiling. This would be his first ever national championships. And he was telling me it would mean more than anything else in the world to him if he could walk home a Halo 3 champion at the end of this weekend. We're about to find out if he can do it. It looks like the players are ready. The countdown has begun. Las Vegas, here we go. It is game six. Oh my kid. Rocks are going, rocks are going, rocks are going. Oh god, they got I don't know, I can't see him. This guy R3 is going R2 to 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 so oh, no, 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 they never picked up my sniper. I had a sniper there. I'll watch Mekan. I'll watch Mekan. Go on Mekan. Mekan over Walshie. Two shots. Walshie. Got him. Got him. Alright, Brian. Ready? They're making it. Making it. About to make it across. Make it across. Alright, one shot L2, one shot L2, one shot L2. Sorry. One shot, nice. Two down right now, two down. No, we killed, I think we killed Mankin. I think you're hiding behind flag, baby. They're gonna so, there was a sniper right, right now, now Sundance we're looking at a snipe down. He's on a seven kill killing spree right now. But the score is already one to zero. It was instinct striking first, so now straight Rippin trying to set up for the counter cap. And you know, we heard, we were listening in when that cap happened, you heard Lou Mike say, let him have it, we're not in position, we'll get it back. And Stray Rippin not worrying too much about that initial cap, knowing that they were going to get set up. So right now you see Soviet with the flag out, T-Squared talking to his teammates, trying to figure out how they're going to stop this cap. That's right, T-Squared at, at the opponent's base, he's in instinct base, he's going to pick up two big kills there, and now that is going to allow Stray Rippin to push in top middle. Right now, Elmire Warrior checking the back of his own base. I can see all these screens. I know a little bit more than he does, but he is safer than he thinks. And now, Elmire Warrior, he is going to be pushing in here, and he's got the sniper rifle in front of him. It's the instinct sniper rifle, even more importantly. And now he's putting it to use against Team Captain Walshy, and he doesn't even need to use his BR because his teammate Legit was there to back him up. And there, now we are seeing the objective duos. All Might Warrior and Legit doing what they do best, going after flag attempts. But Soviet just shut both of them down, and now all four members of Straight Rippin are dead. I want to check out what's going on over on the Instinct side of the map, and we're going to check out Soviet. He is on fire right now. He picked up a big beatdown, stopped All Might, and now he's got the sniper rifle. Soviet heating it up here. We saw Instinct start off. They got the first flag cap. Then we saw Snipe Down go on a bit of a run. El Might and Legit try to push into the base, and then Soviet just said no. So it is now Instinct's turn to move in forward with the momentum. And Roy's got a sniper of his own. So that is two snipers for Instinct. Roy picking up another kill on T squared. He's now out of snipe ammo. Soviet, he's going to be playing protector back at his own base right here. And meanwhile, it looks like straight ripping. They were all focusing on Roy. They had.